What is up you guys? It's Katya Bulk. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my nighttime routine. Um, yeah, so I felt like making this video because I've shown you my morning routine and I thought I would show you like my face nighttime routine because I've definitely been more on top of like skincare because I was like noticing blackheads and other things and I was just like yeah, I need to take care of my skin better. I've done microdermabrasion once and I was just like, okay, that was cool. Found a good coupon deal, but you know, I'd rather invest my money and then probably good products and I'll hopefully like save money from it. I don't know. There's so many products out there and I thought maybe you just need one face wash, but there's a lot of purposes to a lot of other things and I am 24, so my skin is aging, so I definitely want to take care of it. I mean, here, this is just a close-up. <laughs> like, I had a blackhead here, but I mean, I have fairly good skin. This is just, like, some blemish that would be have to be removed by, like, laser. But I'm not someone who gets a lot of acne. I mean, here it always gets a pretty stuffed up. Like, you can feel texture-wise. It's not exactly smooth. But otherwise, like... This was a pimple, but I have fairly normal skin. So let me just show you guys the products that I use. So, I mean, okay, it depends on the day of the week. Like sometimes I'll exfoliate, um, but maybe like two or three times a week, just I'm feeling like I really need to clean my skin. What I don't recommend is anything with walnuts because walnuts scrubs have like shards in them. So they literally like make tiny scratches on your face so if you're gonna get any kind of exfoliant I would recommend something with beads the one I found and that I like actually not sponsored by the way by any of these brands is the Shea Moisture this is the African Black Soap Clarifying Facial Wash and Scrub so Shea Moisture actually has like a lot of different products and different scents and all this stuff I even have like their conditioner cruelty free vegan all that kind of cool stuff as well because I as a vegan, I like to stick to cruelty-free vegan products as well. Of course, I mean, I'm gonna just say to you guys, if you can't change your diet, at least change like your facial products. Because think about it, if something has to be tested on animals, how sketchy is it then to put on your skin too? So, I mean, if you still wanna eat your burger, but wanna do make some kind of impact, I would say at least switch your skincare products. And this is awesome. I like this stuff. Shea Moisture, they have other scrubs of other scents, but I like the Black African Soap. I find that it smells really good. So yeah, if you look really closely, there's tiny round beads, because it's the, it's the exfoliants that have round beads that you want to be using. So that'll help like gently exfoliate your skin. So yeah, for blemish prone skin, I get little blemishes, so. I'm gonna start with this. All right, so that was the first step. And yeah, I kind of forgot to mention what else it has like in this one particularly. So the African black soap is good for, it says clarifying oily, blemish prone skin. It's got tamarind extract, a natural astringent that helps exfoliate skin and tea tree oil that gently purifies, gently purifying essential oil helps to smooth and mattify skin. So after this, if it's a day where I'm using this, like I'll just start with this. Otherwise, all other days, I'll just skip straight into using this stuff. I just recently bought it and I really like it. Um, I like to stick to products with hyaluronic acid because it's really good for your skin. But this Derma E Hydrating Gentle Cleanser has got hyaluronic acid and chamomile. And this one is also cruelty-free, vegan, ethical beauty, it says on the back. But yeah, so I'm going to quickly wash my face with this because also the battery's about to die. Alright, so 
Now I just dry my skin like normal patting dry. They say not to wipe, so I don't know. I'm gonna pat my skin as they say. And then I've started using toner. I had this really good toner from, oh gosh, we're gonna get Lush, but I bought it long ago, so it's definitely gone bad. So I went and I got a new one because there's this one. What is it, Thayer's? Natural Remedies, I've just heard good stuff and it's been around forever as long as I can remember. Also cruelty free, all that fun stuff. This one is the Rose Petal. I don't know why, but it kind of reminds me of like old lady perfume. And it reminds me of my grandma who passed away, so for me, I love the smell. It's kind of dear to my heart. Um, and it's like I wear it at night, so it, by the time I wake up, the smell is gone if it bothers anyone for some reason. So, but I just get a little cotton ball because I don't really have the cotton pads. I don't know, didn't buy any, but yeah, I put this on and this just helps remove any last bit of makeup and, and I already wear minimal makeup at most, like if I'm looking a little red, I'll put some concealer on and then either I'll go for eyeliner or mascara, so like you see a little bit that I took off, so yeah, there's really not much because I wasn't actually wearing makeup today, but I'll just use the toner all over my face. Um, but yeah, like, this is what I'll do. Last step for in the bathroom, and then one more step I'll do in my room. But I'll show you guys that here because the lighting is better here. All right, so we did end up coming to my room, and I did take out my contacts, and I have my glasses on because this is my realistic getting ready for bed. So the last step of whatever I apply to my face is, like, a night cream, and I started using this Burt's Bees, ooh, Burt's Bees Renewal Firming Night Cream. And I mean, I don't really know. I, I, I mean, I'll be honest, like, I'm not like, oh my gosh, my skin is glowing, but it does stay a lot more moisturized because before this, my skin would get kind of dry and I was using a face oil. So when it is the time of year that my face is a lot drier, I have this daily hydration overnight face oil also from Shea Moisture. So this is just 100% virgin coconut oil with coconut milk and Acacia Senegal. So to just to soften and restore skin because sometimes I do get like little patches that might be a little dry but right now my face is super balanced out so I just put this renewal cream, um, cruelty free, all that kind of stuff, no animal testing and I just apply this all over my face starting kind of the under eyes, um, nose, forehead, and neck, so, yep, super easy, smells good, uh, very light scent, nothing like crazy, so, I don't know what, if it's supposed to have a certain smell, but it just says with hibiscus and apple rejuvenating complex, so, hopefully it's making my skin nice and firm, you know, they say, like, your young 20s is when you actually should start taking precaution with your skincare and stuff because you don't want to wait till you're wrinkly to then start taking care of your skin so it's better to have like the prevention for it so yeah face cream all right guys so that is it that is my full face routine nighttime routine what i do um i'm just gonna call my man's on the phone talk to him maybe watch some youtube on my phone, but otherwise, I hope you did enjoy this video. Um, yeah, check out these products. I think I got them mostly at like Target. Um, I can't remember if I got anything else. Oh, I know. No, I think I actually got it all at Target. So they have a really good section of like cruelty free brands, especially with like the face wash skincare stuff. I don't know about makeup, but yeah. So if you enjoyed this video, do give me thumbs up and let me know down below what other kind of videos you want me to see if you did enjoy this i mean if you want to see my morning routine you can all so go see that click the little card above but yeah and if you haven't already subscribe join the family i'm trying to think of what video i'm gonna have next for you guys Ooh, yes i'm gonna have a taste test we're gonna be trying some vegan burgers next i'm so excited Hey guys, it's me just editing and really quick, I want to say sorry, but no burger video, but we are doing a Lion's Pack taste test of some other new products. So yeah, still subscribe and yeah, go check out that video. So click that notification bell. So yeah, stay tuned, click that notification bell so you know when that video comes up. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a great rest of the night, day, whatever time it is you're watching this. Love you all. Bye.